Hello and welcome to this week's music tech session where we'll be focusing on instrumentation, sounds and timbre. To do this we'll be using a different piece of free software, this time called Launchpad. So let's get straight to it. Instrumentation plays a huge part in the music we create and listen to. For example, if you were tasked to create a piece of music that represented a bird, what instrument would you choose and why? I'll play a few musical ideas from three different instruments and you decide which one sounds most suitable for a bird. Option one, a deep brass sound. Option two, an electric synth sound. Option three, a high-pitched woodwind instrument. So out of those three examples of instrumentation, which one would you have chosen to produce a piece of music that represents a bird? You probably lent more towards option three, which was a flute sound, because it sounded light and high-pitched like a bird. We'll now explore this idea further as you use a piece of software called Launchpad to choose your own sounds and samples to create a new piece of music. Let me show you how Launchpad works. So first of all, you'll need to open a web browser, ideally Google Chrome, and type in Launchpad Arcade. It's the first result we want that says Launchpad Arcade Novation. Click that. and the launch pad has loaded. Now the way that this works is that this grid here is a collection of different sounds and samples of different instruments. And your keyboard has been turned into a launch pad which means you can press different keys and they'll trigger different sounds. To find out what letters on your keyboard trigger different sounds, hold down the letter P. You can see on my screen, the numbers and letters appear above the samples. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on my keyboard trigger that top set of samples. Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U and I, the next row on my keyboard, trigger the next row. Let me let go of the P button and I'll press some of those numbers now to show you what they do. For now, we're going to work in horizontal rows going across. So let's just look at that top row, which if you remember, were the numbers on our keyboard. I'll press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and we'll see what they do. First up, 1. By pressing number 1, you'll see that the first drum sample has been triggered and now plays on an endless loop. To stop it, press 1 again. It glows red before it then turns off. Now instead of pressing 1, I can also click it with my mouse and click it to stop it but you'll want to use your fingers to trigger the samples rather than a mouse. Let's hear the next drum sample, this one here, which will trigger by pressing the key two. And I'll turn it off by pressing two again. Let's trigger the next three samples by pressing three, four and five at the same time. and I'll turn them all off at the same time by pressing three, four, and five again. Next, we have the FX button, triggered by number six. Okay, so a one-off explosive sound. And finally, these light two columns here, vocal and FX, do something different than the other samples. The other samples and sounds are on loops and they'll play forever until you turn them off. The light blue vocal and FX buttons here on the right are meant to be triggered and played in real time, just like an instrument. For these samples, press the buttons like you would a keyboard and play the samples like this. You may notice you can hold down the sample to get a longer sound. But 
but those are there for you to explore as well. The next row down uses the letters Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U and I on your keyboard. And just like the top row, you can trigger them separately or all at once. I'll sweep my finger across those letters now and try triggering all the loops at once. And I'll turn them all off using the same method. Notice that the light blue sounds on the right, the vocal and FX, didn't trigger because they need playing separately. Take some time now to pause the video, open a web browser and type in Launchpad Arcade, load up the Launchpad and experiment triggering the loops and samples by pressing the different keys and using the right hand side to play some live sounds as well. Remember, hold the letter P to see all the different keys available to you and then come back and play the video and I'll show you what's next. So now you've explored what Launchpad can do, here's your task. I'd like you to use Launchpad to create a piece of music that would be perfect for a video game about car racing. You might already be thinking of some sounds and samples that you've heard that would be perfect for this. So why not make a list of all the sounds and letters or numbers that trigger them that will be ideal for a racing car video game. Go through each letter and number and make a list of all the sounds that you think would be good for this video game. You could use a pen and paper or your computer to make this list. For example, you might say Z, E, R and G and 8 were particularly exciting instruments and sounds. You've now got a bank of sounds that you've chosen and you know exactly how to trigger to make your song. The next thing to do, building on from last week's session, will be to order these sounds into a structure that you're happy with. So, let's experiment with those sounds Z, E, R, G and 8 and figure out a good order for them to be played in. Let's try Z and G first. Okay, I'm quite happy with that, so on my list. I'll write this down as my first section. Now what can I change that to? I can stop those sounds and trigger the other ones that I liked, E and R. And here we have a different, calmer but serene section. I'll make a note of that. Notice I've given myself the instruction to turn off or stop Z and G, otherwise they will continue playing. Now last week you created a similar structure to this in that you had a section 1 and a section 2, and both of them were different. This week I'd like you to add a third section, but rather than creating a brand new section from scratch, just repeat the first one. So section 3, I'm going to copy Z and G from my first opening section. Now we have three different parts of the song, one, two and three, but one and three are actually the same. Oh, I must remember to stop the E and R samples going into section three, otherwise they'll just carry on. Now I've got my instructions, I'll try playing it all in one go. Okay, Z and G first. And it's up to the performer to determine when to stop these and trigger the next sound. I think I'll wait a bit longer. Okay, about now I'm going to swap to my second section, which was E and R. Now to go back to the first one, I must remember to turn E and R off and trigger Z and G. Wait a bit longer, but about now I'll swap it. Here's the third section. Now, as this is playing, I'm going to, have to check my list for any other sounds. Yes, that letter 8 is that live sound that I can use to trigger some extra samples. Let's try it. And 
finally, our software sample to end the song. Going back to my musical instructions, the only part I need to add is that extra eight sample that I was triggering in section three for some extra interest. So there you go. First of all, find some sounds that you like, and you don't have to use Z, E, R, G, and eight. You'll no doubt find sounds that you like better and that you want to use yourself. Then compose three sections, one, two, and three. Make one and two very different by using different samples. Make three the same as the first one, but feel free to add in some extra interest with those live samples. Now when it comes to performing and recording this, you can play it live to somebody in your house. If you wanted to send it to us here at the Leicestershire Music Service, you can send it to this email address, but just make sure you read the terms and conditions because we may wish to use this in future videos. Perhaps the easiest way to record this would be a family member using a phone or a camera to record the sounds as you play it. Use this video if you wish to submit it. And that's it. Thanks again for joining us for this second session on Music Tech using Launchpad to explore different instrumentation to compose a piece of music. And if you've enjoyed using Launchpad today, let me show you just one more thing you can do with it which will help your music making. Today, we've not used the right hand side of this and we've left it on viral hip hop. And those are the sounds we've used. But there are loads more samples here in Future House Fusion all different that you can trigger. What about retro grain? Let's have a listen to some of those. What about hypnotic energy? Hopefully that extra piece of information will give you loads more ideas to use when making music. So good luck and enjoy using Music Tech to make your compositions. See you next time. Bye bye.